It's Ellen again. I am going to show you how to make this bracelet. Um, I've been trying to figure out a way to um, show how to extend the stained glass bracelet um, so that people could enjoy it longer and all the way around their wrist. I've been having trouble doing that in a way that makes a lot of sense. It, I mean, it was kind of hard and confusing for me to do and to try and explain that to other people. It makes it even worse. So. Um, I apologize that I haven't been able to get that done yet. Um, I was trying to make another version um, of it so that people could extend it and make it as long as they want around their wrist. And I came up with this one, which is basically a sideways version of the stained glass. So you're extending it this way. Um, we do use only one loom to make it. Um, we do take apart the loom to do that. Um, it is a little skinnier than the stained glass bracelet, but you can fix that by filling in the little dips on the side here. Um, and I'll probably do a separate tutorial showing how to do that. But um, I also just tried this for fun, but um, I skipped every other, would have been every other middle, because I thought that the little parts kind of look like flowers. And so I did that one. And I thought it, it looks kind of cute too, so. There's all those options. And then the other thing that's neat about this is that um, if you look at this bracelet that I made here, it's hard to tell unless you're looking pretty close where I closed it. Um, it's kind of a little trick that I figured out. And actually, here's where it's closed. So it's kind of, I think it's kind of neat. I mean, you can really hide your C-clips if you want to. I mean, this one's not hidden as well as this one over here, but um, you can almost, you can't hardly even tell that there is uh, a spot or a break in the, the chain, so. But I'll show you how I did that as well. All right, so let's get started. And you're gonna need your loom like this. Put your red arrow over on this side. Um, I guess I'm right-handed, so I mean, it might, be different for you if you're left-handed, um, so I'm not sure if that'll make a difference for anyone or not. Um, but red arrow over here, and then you can work on any section of the loom if you want to work on the ends. That's fine. I'm just going to kind of work on the middle, but just so you have five pins, like here, to work on. Um, the loom is in an offset pattern. I mean, right now I just started in the standard position. But as I go, it kind of gets a little crazy because I just offset it however I can get the pin bar back on. So if you notice later on that this bar is way out there and this one's way in, it's just because I'm just kind of worried about the, the offset pattern in here. Um, but I'll show you too, when you are doing this bracelet, um, we're basically making small chunks of it. and. Like our first part we put on the loom is just going to be half of this bottom piece. So it will take you a little while to get this bracelet completed. Um, so when you do your pattern, if you want to have a pattern so that you can do different designs or like this one's just kind of a stripe. Um, this one is kind of a little zigzag through it. Um, I'd recommend taking a piece of paper and first I'll tell you that this bracelet is um, basically I'm counting over here one there's eight little points on the side here and that goes all the way around my wrist which is six and a half inches so you may not need that many um, I usually do end the bracelet at a point right here, so it's half of a middle one is where you'll end it. So you'll kind of have to determine um, how long you need it. But you can always make your design longer and then as you're making your bracelet, um, I'll show you how you can just kind of fit it around your wrist so you can see if it's long enough or not. Um, but if you want to make a specific design and because we're working at first, you're working in such a small area, it might be kind of confusing. Um, I usually just make my circles up a little bit nicer, but 
So this represents the eight on the side. And you just go in the middle and then back out to the side over here. I never won any awards for penmanship, so I apologize. But then you can just kind of make your pattern. Like I think I'll probably actually just copy this bracelet again. So I'll start and you know this corner will be red and then we'll have orange, orange, orange. And it'll just go like that all the way up the loom however you want it. So it just kind of gives you something to reference when you're making the bracelet. That way you kind of have an idea of what to put next. And as you get farther along it, it makes it a lot easier. But that's just a suggestion on how to lay it out so that you know where you're at. Um, if you do more complicated designs, I mean these ones are, this one's pretty simple. It's just blue on the outside and kind of a maroon red in the middle. So that's pretty easy, but when you get more complicated designs, it gets a little more difficult. Anyways, back to the loom. Um, what you're going to do is, like I said, we're going to be working on five pin bars first, and then it switches into three. But first we're actually going to lay bands for our next part of the bracelet. And we're going to do that by, you're going to pick your perimeter color, so drop one, skip a pin, drop two, skip a pin, and drop one. And then, if you know what color you'll have um, in your next starbursts, um, you can lay those down. If you're not sure, then you can just wait and I'll show you when you can add those as well. Um, but I'm just going to throw mine in there. So red, and then an orange, like that. And then we are also, if you want to close the bracelet like this, um, we are going to fill in the little starburst here as well. Um, if you don't want to close the bracelet like that and you want to just do the two C-clips or even, I mean, I suppose you could do buttons either way, but if you just want to do it this way, then don't worry about filling in this little space right here. But I'm going to show you how to close it the other way. So when we, after we lay our perimeter bands, we'll fill this space up as well. So then what we're going to do is we have our bands laid for the next part. Then we're going to come back into a triangle and make a W, basically. But it is a different way you put it on. You're going to loom, put your layer of bands back towards you, like this. And then come back up here, lay that band, and then this one, and then here, there, here, and here, like that. So this way, here, here, and here. And then um, you'll want end caps here, or button caps if you want to do those. Um, I'm going to triple loop them. You don't have to, double looping is fine. Um, just depends how visible you want them at the end of the bracelet. Like that. And now I kind of end up turning my loom a little bit, but um, that's up to you how you want to do that. We're going to fill in our part starburst here and this one here if you want to. I'm going to fill it in. I'm just going to put make starburst around. Like that. And we'll fill the other one. Starburst. Like that. 
We want to go and put end caps on the middles. And you can double or triple loop these, depends on how tight you want the center of the starburst to be, I guess, or the diamond. Like that. So now, you take your hook, and we're going to loom out the starbursts. So we have the starburst loomed out. And we'll come back and we'll do our perimeter bands. We're going to start over here in this corner. And you want to grab this top band and pull that one up and over this way. And the next one, the bottom band over. And go back in here, grab the bottom band, and pull that up like that. And over here, it's the top band, top bottom band, and here's the bottom band, and then here, like that. All right. So now, um, I want to point out that this is a repeating pattern. So once you get the pattern down. Um, you really can make this as long as you want and um, it'll come to you, but um, I guess you can see we have our our diamond is going to be closing off in the next one and then another one in the middle will be opening up. So you can see how our next bands, there's only one because we're going to close it off and then there's two in the middle because it's opening back up and then this is these middle ones are just to fill the starburst up. Because then when we do the next bands, I'll show you where those lay. And that's my cat. One of them. Okay, so now you want to make sure that this, these bands are pushed down. I have had them fall off on me mid-bracelet and it is not fun. So make sure they're definitely pushed down. Take your loom apart. Like that. Bring these to the, to the other side. And then put your loom back together. Um, and then in that offset pattern. Like that. Okay. We have a little half starburst here, and then we'll work it on the other ones. Um, I started out with two bases holding it together, but I usually just end up using one right next to where I'm working, and that seems to be a secure enough for me, but um, you can certainly throw both of them on to be a little bit more on the safe side. Okay, so as I explained before, we are closing off this starburst. We're going to close off this starburst, and then another one is opening up. So we're going to close this one off. We're going to put two bands here for the perimeter, and two bands over here. Because as this one closes off, another one's going to open up up here, so we're having a band that'll go each way. And then this one's closing off, and a band to open up a new one right there. So it's um, so as you kind of start to think of that way, you won't get lost as you're doing it. So it's two perimeter bands, skip a pin, two perimeter bands, and then this will be your next middle starburst. So I'm going to drop two bands there, like that. So now what we want to do is we need to lay our perimeter bands again. 
and we're going to come from this pen to here. And then you can pull up this band over. And then you'll add another perimeter band from here to here. And now we need to grab the bottom band because um, that'll be correct in the looming sequence. And you can kind of tell they're just laying on top of each other. Um, you can probably, if you grab this top one by accident, you'll just have to make sure that when you come over here and grab the other band that that one is going to be truly on the top when you're all finished. So this is the bottom band here. I'm going to pull that one over. And that's what you want is the bottom band to go to this side. Then you'll lay another band over here. And then this is the top band. We want that over this way. And another perimeter band. And then just grab this one band. Pull it over like that. Then you can turn your loom if you need to and grab these other parts of the starbursts and pull them up. These don't matter as much just as long as you're not twisting them. And you'll know if you have them twisted when you loom them out if they're crossing each other. And then you want to lay the bands for your next, for the rest of this starburst here. is really noisy right now. Alright, like that. Put on your end cap. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to loom out our starbursts. Just like that, so you know that that's correct because they're not crossed over or not twisted. And then do the same thing over here. Bring this over. Like that. And then we're going to loom the perimeter bands to the bottom band. And then when you go into the middle one here, you do want the top band, um, but make sure, it's kind of hard to see, but um, there's the band, this band, the other half of it, it always kind of gets in the way and it kind of wants to act either you're not going to grab it and you end up going around it and then you'll miss it when you're looping or you end up trying to pull that one up because it looks like that band. So make sure that you get through that band so that you're just grabbing the top one. Because if you miss it, your bracelet will fall apart. So then get that one over and then over here. And come back in here and grab that bottom band. And then over here, the bottom band, pull it up, and like that. My cat is coming to visit, possibly. She stays away. Okay, so make sure this, these pin bars, the bands are pushed down on them all the way. And then remove these two pin bars from your loom. Like that. And take your loom apart. Switch these to the other side. And put it back together. In an offset pattern. Now 
this one we're going to have bands on five pins and you see our middle starburst is going to close and then we're going to open up two more. So we'll start with, if you go from this pin diagonally, you put one, skip a pin, two, these are your perimeter bands, skip a pin, and then one. So diagonally you should have one, and then right in the middle of those two you'll have two. And then if you know the colors for your next starbursts, you put those here and here, like that. So then we take our perimeter band, start over here, and you want to pull up the bottom band. Pull that over, and then one here. Now it's the top band. Pull that over. Band here. Now the bottom band. Band here. And then the top band. If you'll notice, I'm kind of taking my thumb and pushing on the bands. It helps to push them forward so I can kind of determine better which one's the top and the bottom. So I don't know if that'll help you as well. This is the top band over. Like that. And then you can turn your loom if you need to. Pull up your starburst bands. Like that. And then you want to lay bands for these two starbursts. And lay on your end caps. Okay. Now loom out your starbursts. And we'll do the perimeter again. This band over here, top bottom band, top bottom band, okay. And then here's the bottom band, pull that one over. And come back here. Like that. Make sure these are all pushed down. And then you can remove this, these two pin bars. Um, I have been using my hook to just do it because I think, especially as this get longer, you might pull too hard and then you'll pull it right off these pin bars and that would not be good. So be gentle. And take apart your loom. Bring on the other side. Offset pattern. And I will say, I hope you guys are. All right, with the taking apart of the loom, 
Um, I just find that there's a lot of different bracelets you can make by being able to do that, and it's a little, a lot less work. Whereas, um, if we didn't take apart the loom, we'd have to continually refit these onto the pins again, and I think that that would take out the joy of making the bracelets. So, uh, hopefully, you're following me, and that's all right with you. I do apologize for those of you who have the looms who can't take them apart. Um, I guess I don't I don't know what to do about that, but I am I do feel bad about it, but I'll try and work on getting other things in the future that don't involve taking apart the loom as well. Okay, so we have the two centers starburst here. They're gonna close over here and then a new one is opening up. So we're only working on these three pins this time. And it's going to be two perimeter bands, skip a pin, and then two more perimeter bands, and then we'll have our next center starburst, like that. So we'll come back over here, lay our band, and grab the only band you can, pull that over, lay a band here. Lay the band here, and then grab the bottom band and pull that over. Lay a band here, and then grab this top band and pull that up and over. Band here, and then grab this band. Just like that. And you pull up your starburst bands from before, like that. And lay your bands for this new one. on your end cap. Now come back in here and loom out the starbursts. bands. Start over here. Bottom band and bring it up. And going through here, grab that top band, bring that up. I found that if you have a tight band, and besides just stopping and kind of pulling it with your fingers, if you pull the band this way, instead of trying to pull it over harder and harder, um, it's less likely to break because I suppose it's less friction pulling it this way than it is trying to go through the bands again. So just a suggestion. And then loosen it up so it's not tight. And bottom band. And bottom band now. Push these down, and you remove the these two pin bars. Like that. Take your loom apart. Move these to the other side. Put it back together. Offset pattern. Like that. 
So now we're doing the dropping bands on five pins again. So these are opening up and this one's closing off. So it'll be diagonally from here, one band, skip a pin, two bands, skip a pin, one band. And then if you know the colors for your next ones, go ahead and drop those. Like that. Then we're going to need to lay our perimeter bands. So one here. And pull up the bottom band. Here. And pull up the top band. Like that. Here. Pull up the bottom band, and here, and the top band. So there's our perimeter. Now you can pull up your starburst bands from before. Then we need to lay the starbursts for these two. caps on. That. Loom the starburst out. Do our perimeter bands. So in here, top bottom band, bottom. 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 This is the top bottom band. Just like that. Make sure your first row over here is pushed down. And you can remove these last two pins. Now remember if you do end up missing a a band somewhere and it falls, starts falling apart, don't panic because you can just stretch it back. Start by stretching out the, the middle starburst back to your pins. Um, starting up fixing the little bands. It is possible to fix it if it is if you do miss a band. Just kind of take your time with it. Okay. Oops. Take your loom apart. And to the other side. Now these two are closing off, so we're just going to have the three band drops here. So there'll be two, skip a pin, two, and then if you know your middle color here, drop that. And then we need to lay our perimeter bands, so starting here. 
grab this only band, pull it over here, grab the bottom band, pull that over here, top band here, and just grab this one like that. Then pull up your starburst from before. So I hope you're definitely see, starting to see the repetitive pattern that goes on. Um, once you get the hang of that, it'll be pretty easy, I think. So lay your starburst for the center. Come back and do the perimeter bands. And top band. Then First row is pushed down. And start taking it off. Take your loom apart. So you can see what we're starting to get here. So it takes a little while, but it's worth it in the end, I think. It makes a really pretty bracelet. Um, obviously, besides me showing you how to add the little side pieces, you could definitely extend this pattern as wide as you wanted it to. Um, I don't know, make a blanket or something. <laughs> but, so now we have one starburst and that's going to close off but we're going to open up two more on the sides so we're going to have the five pin bars again so diagonally from here drop one skip a pin drop two skip a pin drop one and then your starburst colors if you know those perimeter, starting over here, grab that bottom band, pull it over, pull this up, and the bottom band, and here, and the top band, like that. So now pull your starburst up from before. Then make your starburst here. Uh, 
that. And then put your end caps on here. And then loom these out. Like that. Now do your perimeter again. Push the first row down and remove this two pin bars. There, take your loom apart. Put it back together. Offset. That. Now like before, these are coming together. These are coming together. And this one's opening up, so we're only going to be working on these three pieces. Three pins. So we'll chop two bands here at the point. Skip a pin. And drop two bands here. And then your middle color, if you know what that is. Okay. And we need to do our perimeter bands. So here, pull this one up. Here, bottom band. Here, top band. Here and the only band. So you have that. Pull up the other starbursts. Lay your new starburst. your end cap on. Loom right. these out. perimeter. Like that. Push these down. Then you can remove these two rows. Take 
do them apart. So now this middle one's closing off, and I have two more opening up. So we're going to be working on five pins again. So we want to drop diagonally from here, one, skip a pin, drop two, skip a pin, drop one. And then if you know your middle colors, you can drop those. Two bands. Like that. Now we need to make our perimeter. So band here. Pull up the bottom band. Like that. And here. Bottom band here, and then pull up top band. Like that. Okay, so pull up your starburst from before. Like that. Make your new with starbursts. Place your end caps. Okay, then move out your starbursts. perimeter. that and we'll remove these like that take your them apart move these to the other side Okay, so these two are closing, so we're just working on the three pins. And what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to show you what it'll look like when you get to the point where you want to close the bracelet, um, particularly if you want to close it the way I did on this bracelet so you can't really tell. Um, so this is where you'd be at and where you would stop after you loomed these, um, or laid the bands rather. So technically you wouldn't lay these bands um, because you'd be finishing the bracelet, but I'm obviously going to keep going, so I'm going to lay my bands for the next part of this bracelet. That. And then 
we'll do our perimeter bands and really that's where you would stop until we do the closing because I'm going to just kind of go through the rest of this kind of fast because um, I don't think you want to watch me do another four or five rows here so um, when you get to the point where you have two starbursts on your loom like this and that's and it's going to be long enough way to check if it's long enough is just stick your wrist in there and see how far you are from closing like here um, it does take a little while but when you get to here where you have two open starbursts and you're ready to make the points to the close to the three that's where you'll stop and that's where you'll um, you'll be able to close it um, you don't really want to close it when you're five or at the top you want to close it when you're three rubber bands are at the top so um, I'll finish off this one and then I'm just going to kind of go a little faster through the rest of it until I get to the end and then I'll show you exactly how to lay the bands for that so the perimeter here here grab the only band, pull it over and here grab the bottom band pull it over and the top band band here and right there and you can pull out your starburst from before That's where I want you to end if you're going to come back in a little bit after you, you finish the how far you need to go. Um, I just want you to leave it like that and then I'll show you what else you need to do to either close it with the C-clips without, um, without the middle piece or if you want to close it like this one. I'll show you what to, what to do. All right, so I'm going to go through this faster and I'll um, I'll show you how to finish it in a little bit.
Okay, so this is where we are going to end the bracelet. And so it's just the points going up here. Um, we don't have to lay any bands for the next part because we're ending it. So just come up here, put a band there, bring this up. And a band here. And then bring up this bottom band, which now kind of made the top band. There, bottom band. Band here. Bring up the top band. Band here. And then pull this one up. Bring up your starburst from before. Like that. And then whatever color you put in the middle, if that's I guess I should say, if you didn't do the middle part, then this is how it's going to look when you end it. You'll just loom out the starbursts, and then loom up the perimeter bands, and you'll have two ends to connect here and here. If you did do the middle piece, then whatever color you used here, you're going to place that same color here and here, like that. And then you're going to take your bracelet, wrap it under your loom, and bring it around this way. Fit your middle cap band over the top of here, like that. Then find your other cap bands, and wrap those around here. I guess I triple loop these, so we might just have a double. Wrap them here. Like that. So then you'll go and you'll loom out your starbursts. like that. And then we'll do the perimeter bands. Let's go back over here. Alright, so that's what it should look like now. Now remember, these are not closed, um, so don't just pull it off your loom now. Um, the only way it's really connected is in the center, right here. So if you want, you can put your C-clips on now. And then, <clears throat> this is just to close it off. We can always adjust them afterwards to get them to be hidden more. Hopefully that one stays. So like that. So you've got the middle part connected. You have C clips here. So then just start back here and start taking it off.
sure I didn't lose any here. And I'm about to. Alright, so then just take it off around your loom. Obviously if you made this smaller, you might have to stretch it some to actually connect it like this. I'm just going to fix this. Alright, so just like that. And then what I did before, because these bands are on top, the red bands I have here, so I just took the C-clip and I captured those two bands here. And if you already have a lot of bands in there, it's kind of a tight fit. It just kind of makes it a little more hidden, I guess, that it's connected there. Let's see here. It's a lot of bands in there. All right, like that. And obviously you could move the C-clips where you want them so they're even more hidden than that, but I mean, that's, that's pretty good, I think. twist this one around a little bit differently too. But that is my tutorial for I guess my right now alternate stained glass bracelet. I may change the name later on the actual video when I upload it but um, hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about. So that is what it looks like and then like I said I'll probably do a separate tutorial to show how to add the side ones here. So hopefully that'll make some of you guys happy that have been wanting a longer stained glass one that's easier. Um, but I guess if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try and clear them up like usual. And thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. So, that is my tutorial. Thank you.